discretion is a necessary part of our profession, Mr. Kane. Seems you've already found trouble. Some? Figures you're going to give me more. There's a distinct possibility. Six months ago, our bureau in the Caribbean reported a sudden flurry of communist activity. In support of a plot to steal a Tibetan statue, Yama. The next day, the bureau was destroyed with explosives. Personnel records, files, contacts, field data, all disappeared. Of the seven men and three women employed in the Caribbean, nine were killed. Their bodies burned beyond any possibility of identification. That leaves one agent unaccounted for. And you don't know who he is? Or she. In any case, today, indirectly, that agent made contact with our Los Angeles office. The message was short. Caribbean, Yama, West, communist. Now, we're faced with a dilemma. Our agent is in an untenable position. Contact would have been sooner, information would have been more. However, two things are apparent. Something is eminent, and we can't just jump into the arena. No, but I can. It's a correction, Mr. Kane. You are in the arena. We're aware of West. In the eyes of society, these men are substantial citizens of the community. Like all Americans, they pay their taxes, complain about foreign policy, establish trusts for their children. Their credit record is far better than you or I will ever have. Their business is legitimate. The point is, illegal money was used to establish these businesses. Their illegal operations are continued at a distance. No books are kept, nothing written. All transactions are cash. Without evidence, law enforcement usually has to be satisfied with an occasional income tax evasion charge. Since these men are pillars of the community, they have rights, lawyers, money. Conviction in any case is rare. About all we can do is watch. We do. <laughs> 